Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Please do subscribe to my channel. Today uh, in this video we are going to learn how to use switch case. Okay. For that I am going to quickly create a new flowchart and I am going to name it as switch demo and I am going to click on create. So in this video let me give you what we are going to do. So in this video we are going to give a dialog box to the customer asking um, you know, the bot is going to help the customer which flow to go for the shopping and these are the various list of shoppings. For example, uh, example somebody wants to do a grocery shopping which flow to go, women section for clothing which flow to go. So similarly I have selected some six different areas where the bot would guide them which flow they have to go. Okay, so let's get started. Let's start designing it. So the first thing is I need a input dialog box and here also we will be learning how do we put that in that one by one you know how do you put all those choices so here I have dragged the input dialog box let me connect this now I am going inside the input dialog box and here I am going to give this message box from the bot which would say dear customer which floor would you like to go for shopping okay so now this one supposed to be in the double quote put that in the double quote done now the next section is I have to enter the choices so the choices are something like this for grocery one two three four now how do you do this so let let me quickly copy this and paste it here right so open the editor window and in this editor window I am going to write it that's just supposed to be for the label right so I'll go to level and here I find all the sections so how do I put it so first is grocery just by writing this it won't appear let me show you if I just write something like this there is some sort of an error here let me clear that there's a double quotes here so I'll remove it put a single quote so that should fix the problem click OK now I'll show you if I run just like this what is happening uh, you know all the all the things has come because I have directly copied from my uh, notepad this is one way or else you can also write in a different way that is environment dot new line that is also another quick way okay this is a quick thing to learn so I'm, I have typed entire format in this way in the notepad and directly copy it paste it so it took in that format so you can see it when I running it it was coming in a right format now what I will do the moment customer chooses something it should get into a variable I'm going to create a variable control K and type choice okay the so variable got created now this should take only the integer type so I'm selecting integer type so he has to make one two three four whatever he likes now next thing I'm going to take a switch activity switch and I'm going to drag and drop this done I'm going to connect this now in this switch activity I am going to expression should be choice so whatever he's making a choice depending on that it should show me so now you see there are certain things called default add new case so what is default and add new case for example if you see go to my notepad the first case is grocery right if it's selecting one it should say where the grocery shop is so what I will do I will go to add new case I type one here and below that there's a message there's a box where I can write a message box to the customer and I'm going to write that here message box and here let's say I'm going to say you need to go to first or ground floor ground floor for grocery right so this is my message so now what is default if somebody is selecting anything out of this out of the six choices they have given so they that should show some default message so here I'll click on default okay now here again I'm going to drag my message box and I will say you have made an invalid choice made an invalid choice done okay now I will quickly go and do the same thing for case 2 now for case 2 I'll again copy this copy this message box go to case 2 and put it here 
now here all I have to do is instead of ground floor I will say first floor and that is for if I go back it's for omen section so I'll copy this quickly go back and say it omen section okay and I will delete rest of the things done now same thing I am going to do it for case 3 again click on that and type 3 okay now one thing to remember the type arg argument you know, many people will have this problem the type argument by default will be set to object right if you set to object what would happen if I you know everything is gone if you see that so how do you all you need to remember it has to be always integer type so what would happen if I make to any other object if I put a case one see it will give you this kind of error case key value cannot be converted from to type string okay this is the error so remember if this error comes all you have to do is switch back to integer so I'll go back so it is switch so I switch back to integer 32 remember this now again for case 3 I'll copy this message box go to case 3 paste it here and this is for the men section so I will type men section done now I will do the case 4 quickly again copy paste the message box and here you make it kids section right and next case 5 okay now we'll see case 4 case, six, case 5 is game zone so I'll again go to case 5 copy paste and here I will say game zone right done that simple it is now the case 6 I'll type again case 6 done now in the case 6 body I'm going to put the message box and say food section okay or food zone now all I need to do everything I have written first floor so this would be this is sixth floor so fifth floor and in the case 5 this is supposed to be fourth floor done in case 4 that's supposed to be third floor in case 3 that's supposed to be second floor done in case 2 that's supposed to be first floor and this is supposed to be the ground floor okay so now we have done our entire designing we'll just run it okay please do subscribe to my channel guys okay this has come grocery women section now let's say I'm selecting a invalid case let's say I'm selecting 0 or I'm, I'm going to say 9 if I do any invalid selection it's saying you have made a invalid choice okay good now the only problem is it is again going back okay how do you loop it back okay I'll show you how do you loop it back uh, now let's say I'm going to make the section let's say I want to do kids section so I'll select the option number 4 click on ok it's saying you need to go to third floor for kids section okay so this is why you know quite practical this kind of a bot can be created and this helps the customers right the only thing I want this bot to loop back every time right if he's making invalid choice it should, it should loop back so how do I do it so all I need to do is I need to get back to and put this node to the start node just by doing this okay let me try it again okay input dialog box so let me run this so there's a lot of modification can be done so the video should not you know is not enough but again let me show you what is happening here let's say I'm clicking on zero it's, I made a you have made an invalid choice now the bot is not going to exit here so it's still giving me another option this is you need to go to first floor for women section right so all this kind of designing can be done and when you don't do not want customer has the option to close the bot so thank you for watching this video uh, I'm sure this should help you to understand switch function in more detail and one thing to remember while you are writing a switch function remember the type argument okay the type argument has to be changed depending on the kind of choice you are making in our case it was an integer so I have selected integer 32 this is the error generally people would follow and this is the tip for the day and please subscribe to my channel guys that is how it will help me to grow uh, in my channel and 
it'll allow me to upload more and more helpful videos for you guys thank you so much have a wonderful day